Hi, Notes developers. Welcome to Microsoft Build 2018. I'm Gary Knightsky, Engineering Manager on the Notes team, which owns OneNote integrations and API. Today, I'll share a brief overview about OneNote APIs in the Microsoft Graph and the work we have done over the past year to make using our APIs easier. OneNote APIs in Microsoft Graph are quite powerful. Today, we have over 9 million daily calls to the OneNote API from internal partners and developers like you. It gives you the capability to create a notebook, traverse the notebook hierarchy, capture and retrieve content to and from OneNote pages. OneNote APIs work on your personal OneDrive as well as your Office 365. This includes your team sites and your personal my site as well. We are also focused on quality of our API because we know reliability and performance matter for our internal partners and external developers like yourself. We have made many performance fixes to reduce latencies of the calls you make to the OneNote API. An example of this is we recently optimized the most used API, Git Pages. We're able to reduce the average latency 50%. We also fixed some of the most common errors that developers encounter, making the API more reliable and scalable for your applications. If you are new to the OneNote APIs or you have used them in the past few years, we wrote a blog with some performance best practices to make sure you get the lowest latency requests. Manjusha is now going to demo how to use the OneNote APIs. Hi, I'm Manjusha Mangaukar. I'm a software engineer on the OneNote team. Here I have a Chrome extension called the OneNote Web Clipper, which allows you to clip uh, browser content onto your OneNote notebooks. We are going to use this clipper and clip this content to my OneNote notebook. And here's the notebook that I have. It has an empty section and an empty page in it. Now let's try to clip this content to the notebook that we just saw. Also, I'm going to enable Fiddler tracing so we can see the OneNote APIs that are called by the clipper. And hit clip. The clipper is done. Let's take a look at the OneNote API that the Clipper called. <laughs> Here's the post pages request that the Clipper called. Now let's take a look at the page that got created. Great, so we have a new page created with the content that we just clipped. Now let's see how we can do this using OneNote APIs in Microsoft Graph. I'm going to use an app called the Graph Explorer, which is available on dev.microsoft.com slash graph. And here I have the graph endpoint URL graph.microsoft.com slash v1. Underneath the v1, I have the me segment. And underneath the me segment, I have the OneNote segment. This is the endpoint for all the OneNote APIs. So underneath OneNote, we have notebooks, sections, section groups, pages, etc. In our scenario, we want to do a post pages request. So I'm going to switch over to post request, grab the section ID from the Fiddler trace that we have. Now I'm going to grab the content that we clipped and put it in the request body. And we also need the multi-part content type header. And that's it. We are going to run this request. The request is done. Now let's take a look at the new page that got created using the OneNote APIs in Microsoft Graph. It has the same content as before. And it looks the same. Now this was for my personal notebook on my site. All the OneNote APIs that 
we have are supported on team site notebooks as well. So let's take a look at how we can do this in a team site. Here I have a team site called Microsoft Graph and I have a team notebook in the team site with an empty section and an empty page. I'm going to go back to the Graph Explorer and get the site ID for my team site. Now instead of me segment we have the site segment. Underneath the site segment we are going to paste the sites ID for my Microsoft Graph team site and after that the rest of the segments remain the same like OneNote slash notebooks sections section groups pages etc. In our scenario we are going to do a post pages request. So we will switch over to post. I have the section ID of the team notebook that I am going to use here. Slash pages. The content type header is already there. We are going to grab the clipped content th that we used before put it in the request body and run it. The request is done. Let's take a look at our team notebook. And we have the new page created which looks exactly the same as before with the same content that we clipped. Wasn't it easy? Thanks, Madrusha, for those demos of the OneNote APIs. As you can see, getting started is easy, and you can get some interesting scenarios built up quickly using the OneNote API. We're working hard on adding new, exciting note-taking graph integrations in the future across the Microsoft 365 ecosystem. We can't share many of the details right now, but we know you will love it. It will open up a whole new set of scenarios for you. You can get started right away with OneNote API. Visit our developer portal, ask questions on Stack Overflow, check our samples in GitHub. We have many great examples in different languages, and we'd love to hear from you on Twitter as well. Thank you for taking the time to learn about OneNote API with Majusha and I today, and happy coding.